And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir's Fortune. This is going to be our next deck. Um, as, I, as I was saying with the Nocturne Mystery deck, what we're doing is we're uh, playing four decks that um, were, were uh, people on the leaderboard that were right around me that were playing. As you can go to the leaderboard, you can inspect and just kind of see what kind of decks other people are playing. Um, <laughs> we've fallen off quite a bit from the leaderboard since then, uh, since I grabbed these yesterday. Um, but that's all right. Uh, but this one looks really cool. This was from, um, I remember, and I forgot to write down the people's names for them. I remember this one was from Steve Rubin, um, who is one of the main designers of, or just balance patch um, updaters of Legends of Runeterra, the people that, uh, somebody who's really in charge of balancing the game. And they've been playing, and I guess probably just, you know, trying out Vladimir and everything. They've been playing this Vladimir Misfortune deck that looks really cool. And I love playing Vladimir decks and, and, uh, you know, like we played Vladimir Swain yesterday that looked good. And this is a similar type deck, a little bit more aggressive, though, with Misfortune, more one drops. We get the Crackshot Corsair in here. We get some um, Nexus damage with your Crimson Disciple, Imperial Demolitionist combo. Um, both, you know, D Disciple plus Fortune Croaker should be pretty cool as well. We've got our Legion Veterans in here. And then Citrus Couriers, three Citrus Couriers to heal our allies. I love doing that with the uh, Swain deck, but this should be even better because it's easier to turn on Plunder when you have Misfortune and Crackshot Corsair and stuff like that. So this one looks pretty exciting. I'm excited about this one. I think this one should be pretty good. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. So here we go. Vladimir's Fortune. Okay, we're playing against some Fearsome Spiders. Darius at the top end. Looks like a reasonable hand to me. We can just go Cod Krusty Codger into Crimson Disciple, into Demolitionist, into Legion Veteran. Not that great against Fearsome stuff with our first three cards, none of them blocking Fearsome. But we're also going to be able to be pressuring our opponent pretty well with a hand like this. What's up, Bruised? Welcome, hope you're having a good day. Okay, we'll just trade our ones away. I'll try anyone one. Like this Iron Ballista, we could just go Iron Ballista next turn. And then Legion Veteran on four, and then after Legion Veteran we can play Demolitionist, Fortune Croaker, which will uh, continue to buff things up. You know, with the with the Legion Veteran ability. I think that works pretty well. Okay, no attacks. I served for decades, and you call on me now. So that, that kind of represents that they have a 2 mana deal 1 damage card. That's what that looks like. You know, like Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror, that kind of stuff. That could have also been... Man, I don't want to play Misfortune. Could have also been a Pill Cascade. That's another option. Let's get this over with. I'm not sure if I was supposed to transfusion and, and save the Crimson Disciple. Maybe I should have. I saved transfusion, but maybe I should have saved Crimson Disciple. Now you've gone and upset it. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Two turns in a row, drawing a champion and kind of <laughs> throwing a wrench in our our original plans. I 
Oh, that just helps level up our Vladimir. So Vladimir is at 3 out of 5 now. Thank you, Glorious Beer Guy. Um, how do you think they should nerf Field of Rush? Um, I, d I think that... Alright, pass it on over to me. I think the Field of Rush probably doesn't need to make 10-10s. I think being able to just tutor up and put two champions into play is really powerful. I would get rid of the make them 10-10s. So I want to try doing this one first because I want the Fortune Croaker to go on the Demolitionist and turn both the Demolitionist and the Fortune Croaker into being 3-2s. I don't really want to risk Vladimir dying. I think I said Pill Cascade earlier is like a card that could happen. That's a Targon card. Clear it out. Still have some fights left in me. Maybe I do attack with Vladimir. Where can I find a full Does three damage to them? Let's turn these all into four ones. There's fashionably late, and then there's who would dance with me. Got us covered. I'm gonna do it like this so that I keep this Legion veteran as a four-two as far as like transfusion is concerned. Like, you know, be able to use the the transfusion on the Legion veteran. What's your hurry? Come, stay a while. I just take all that. Go down to three. I really like that we get to pick and choose now with the Vladimir of like what we want to do damage to. I think that was a really good upgrade. Just a just a nice update that you you know have that choice, and it just gives you more, uh, even more, uh, you know, play skill or something. Oh right, that thing was gonna die anyway. I. I was just talking about that. That thing was going to die because of misfortune anyway. That was just a waste of a transfusion. Okay, that was a waste. Right, I forgot about the misfortune ability kill now. As I was talking too much. Sometimes I'll make a little weird play like that. You'll probably be like, well, there's there's the, the symbol right in the middle of the screen. Like, what do you do? How, how could you forget about that? Well, actually, my, my camera is actually right, like, where my cursor is on the screen. This is where my camera is. I can't see anything with this cursor. I haven't seen, seen this cursor at all. <laughs> so that's actually where the camera is. Put it right in the middle of the screen. Because that's really basically like the only place for me to, that I can put it, but it's it's kind of awkward sometimes that I'll forget about something. Alright, Fortune Croaker. Perfect draw. So I don't know if they have like Noxian Fervor, if that's their plan. Like, I don't know what their plan is to kill Vladimir. Nope, there's none. There's no plan. Where can I find a full-bodied red? Guns blaze. Alright. GG's. Captain. Yeah, if I if I mount the camera on top of the monitor, it'd be like just like way up there. I don't know, it'd be really high up. It'd be like another like eight inches like directly up. I don't know, it's thought about that, but then then you're just basically looking at like the top of my head and this is kind of like where it's at the best. Alright, Darius Trundle. We're going to keep one Demolitionist. Keep that one, two, three. Bounty ball. No, no. Target 
usually don't need to see the very center of the screen. You know, it's just like whenever there's like an ability that's on the stack, and that's why I can I can look over to my other monitor and see the see the screen. So that's why you see me sometimes like looking over to the other monitor. But it's all good. The demolitionist. I like that three health. I don't really need to draw a card right now. Make the Empire proud. Hey, dragon. Yeah, Vladimir is a good champ. I like Vladimir. Bum, 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 bum. Remember the objectives. Just attack here. But, you know, it's on, so it's like on a stand. So like I can't see the Imperial Demolitionist. Uh, like power health. This ballista is basically blocked. Um, but it's all good. All right, so we'll have uh, Crimson Disciple plus Fortune Croaker next turn. Of Vladimir. I guess I want to have Transfusion available, so maybe I don't actually play Fortune Croaker here so that I can have Vladimir plus Transfusion. That probably makes sense. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Just pass. Like, it doesn't seem like the best attack with them just passing. If they're going to be able to have combat tricks and everything. I don't know. I won't wait forever. I'm considering just passing back to them. Considering doing that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. It's a good draw. Mine is the hand. Command, General Darius. You pay, I got the spirits. Is a viral. Vladimir's at three. Strength above all. Gaze upon me. I assume you've come for me. I only use the might here on this fortune croaker. Fight as one. Uh. I guess I'm actually just dead. I need to block with the four three. Yeah, GG's. Well, yeah, I didn't really see that coming. Alright, let's mulligan the Might. I like even the other three cards. So Lucian Hecarim. So probably going to be having some Ephemerals in here. I like this Krusty Codger into Fortune Croaker start. That's yeah, Darius. Darius is just great, right? Like 10 power overwhelm, half of your life. So, of course, I don't want to deal damage to that because then the, the Fortune Croaker. Well, I could go Crimson Disciple now. Don't get in my way. Could go Crimson Disciple now. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I'll do that. Burn away the shadows. Planning on it, Misfortune next turn. Fortune favors the bold. You know, I could have gone Fortune Croaker into Jagan Butcher, but. Um, we'll go with Misfortune. Misfortune Croaker. I don't know if, like, trading Misfortune for Lucian is a good trade. Is that all? 
little surprised by that trade by them. Could be another Lucian. Oh, missed call? Yeah. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm glad I didn't attack with Misfortune. I'm glad we still have Misfortune alive. No room for doubt. Alright, Legion Veterans turn. So do I want to keep Transfusion available, or do I want to unload all three of these things? Let me show you I think I'll unload all three threats. Uh, my opponent killed me with basically one shot with like big Overwhelm Yeti and Darius and a ton of pump spells. Thought we lost the last game. I don't want to kill the hapless aristocrats that level up Lucian. Oh, right, never mind. Killing Hecarim levels up Lucian. But at least not killing the hapless aristocrat means they don't get to attack with Lucian. So that's good. They'll be able to get the attack token here. But I can't stop that. And of course my plan is Citrus Courier. They have another Lucian? Oh, come on. Hapless Aristocrat? Okay, so I could play Krusty Codger first. It's the main thing. Do we want to play that first? I think so. Because they only have four mana now. I think I'll just go ahead and play that first. Bring in the heat. Why is this 1-1 one -one attacking? I guess I can't go to one. I guess if I, I would play the Citrus Curry, I wouldn't have to block, but I would have this other Krusty Codger anyway. No, they are they already rallied. Or, or because this is a different Lucian, they get to rally again? Yeah, I guess... Oh, because this is a different Lucian, they get to rally again. That's why the one one's attacking. We have a citrus courier. Yeah, it's a good play, Harvey. I know. <laughs> yeah, super risky. Yeah, gotta gotta live on the edge sometimes. Come on, we're Bilgewater Noxus. We're a bunch of like pirates and Noxus and stuff. We can we can live a little risky. They're trying to figure out how not to lose, I guess. All right, there we go. So they block the five three in the middle. Scare me. They block the four five over here. Maybe they. They're going to block their single combat, take eight. Okay, block their single combat, take eight. GG's. Two and one. All right, Harvey, looks like we're playing. I don't know, some dragons, some Demacia stuff, some mid-range things. Just 
Um, Tell them not to have Radiant Guardian, okay? Okay, Harvey. I could have maybe. Never mind. Let's get Never mind. But yeah, I think because basically with having like the second Jagged Butcher, cool. We do damage there. We're gonna just play three three Jagged Butcher. There's plenty of killing left. That works. I long for a worthy opponent. Hmm. I never. Oh God. Right, so we get two for one, but we we're going to be getting two for one, kind of no matter what, because that thing was going to die, no prey. and we weren't going to be able to do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Love you. Alright, so they only took one damage from that attack. But we just traded our three mana card for a two mana card and half of a four mana card. Not the worst trade. So we're back to being even up on cards. They have a better board though. Like these Grizzled Rangers are still very good. We're at zero out of five for you, Vladimir. So you're telling me we're basically leveled up. I helped build this empire. Here we go. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. I can basically just trade Legion Veteran for Grizzled Ranger. Or, yeah, I would just trade it like that, I guess. Alright, never mind. That's. That makes more sense. Attacking with misfortune here, also. Here they come. No. Oh, that card is broken. That card's really good. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, so they're yeah they could have a really soul next turn. That's that's a possibility. If they don't break, they'll burn. The few for the many. This fortune's only at one. Keep firing till they're dead on the ground. My kind of plan. Yeah, good hand. Hello, Room Terra. Let's rock. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. Who needs me? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, <laughs> and more removal. Come on. This I will now just. I was definitely considering just attacking with everything. But, you know, now I think it just makes sense to just attack there. Yeah, they had a good hand. You know, Flea Feather Tracker and then uh, Fiora, Double Grizzled Ranger with um, Single Combat for that other two mana. 
and then going, you know, Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul. Yeah, turn five, they played the Dragon Guard Lieutenant and kept the three mana for Strafing Strike. So yeah, they, they've done a really good job of all uh, seven of those. I guess that was eight. Those first eight turns were all pretty good. All right, so that levels up Vladimir. If they have no more removal, we can still win this. Two arms. To the stars. They have to have no more removal. Like, if they only have units, Vladimir can still... Like, Vladimir plus Crackshot Corsair... Oh, I guess we need to draw... Never mind, we're gonna have to draw something. So we need them to have nothing and us to draw something good. That's something good. All right, so if they have nothing, we do win this. So maybe they just have six units in, in hand? Nope. Two and two, awesome hand, GG's. All right, back to uh, Trundle and Darius. This was our first loss. Keeping all of these. Let's get him, crew. On the tree. So I'm thinking I play Fortune Croaker on turn two and then attack and play after you know after plunder play all these jagged butchers as three threes on turn three. Does mean they won't be able to attack as three threes until turn five. The winter's claw so that's me doing a lot less damage. On turn three. The winter's claw. You pay first. Ah. In range. Captain's orders. I'm just gonna do this before they play another blocker. He started without me. There's plenty of killing there. I could see keeping the Crackshot Corsair in hand to be able to have an extra mana so like whenever we attune a transfusion we can play it next turn. Because what are we doing? Yeah, because we have three transfusions, one might. So we're probably getting transfusion. Maybe I'm just going to pass on the Crackshot Corsair so then I can have Sprayfin into Vladimir and keep transfusion available. There's a 75% chance that we draw transfusion. Um, I don't, I don't know of any information about the seasonal tournament, like the format and stuff, I don't... That may have been announced, but I am... I have not heard it myself. Maybe somebody in chat knows. Maybe Harvey does. If they don't break, nope. Burn. Doesn't look like Harvey knows either. The few for the many. They'll never see it coming. Boom. So they're getting me closer and closer to ten for Darius. The trolls are going to war. Delicious. Let it flow. All right, so all three of these will take the damage that will level up Vladimir. So I can play Transfusion to save a Jagged Butcher, or again, I can just save that for later, which we may need with like Vladimir versus their champions. I got plenty of units to just continue to play, and so having the room for all these other units isn't bad. If they block with Trundle, you know, we'll kill Trundle. Your path ends here. But I'll just trade those off.
if I play Legion Veteran, I only get to play one of these, or I could play all three Crimson Disciple, Fortune Croaker, Crackshot Corsair. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. I assume you've come for me. Come here, darling. Strength to suffering. Look what you for silver. I thought for gold. I listen. For the Empire. That'll be another three damage down to six. Uh, of course, you know, we don't want to do one damage to these things, so the, the, you know, these are the things over to the right that we're doing the one damage to. I'll kill him. Alright, GG's, Vladimir. Get your revenge. Three and two. Awesome. So yeah, I like this deck. This was a, a fun one to play. Vladimir's Fortune here. Um, you know, Citrus Courier was awesome. Yeah, that card was really good. But yeah, this was a pretty fun deck to play. It, nothing fancy going on. You know, like you're just trying to curve out, have your transfusion is basically your only trick. And, uh, you know, attack a bunch and kill them with all the excess Nexus damage between Misfortune, Vladimir's ability, and uh, Crimson Disciple, Crackshot Corsair. All that kind of stuff. I liked the might. I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing another might. You know, Vladimir, especially like leveled up Vladimir, works really well with might because they don't want to block Vladimir with something regular size because they want to just block it with something small because the regeneration. And so might works really well with that. But uh, yeah, so that's that's Vladimir's fortune. Pretty cool little deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck or you know, anything else, whatever else you want to see on the, the stream, questions, comments, concerns, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir's Fortune. I appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.